Hello and welcome to the Live Happy Online Workshop. I am Nicole Skowernek, I'll be your presenter today, and I wanted to thank you for taking the time to join us. I know that you're busy students with busy lives, and I hope that this information will be valuable to you um, and to also to your peers and your friends with who you associate. To begin, I wanted to give you a brief outline of what we'll be discussing. First, we'll do an introduction, then we'll uh, focus on why we focus on mental health, uh, facts about mental health, who is being affected, how to reduce symptoms of depression, and why exercise is so important. So first of all, who are we? We are an organization called Live Happy. We partner with Inner Mountain Live Well, and we work in conjunction with the county health department. Our goal is to more effectively spread awareness of the importance of reducing screen time and increasing physical activity among our adolescents. And we promote a healthier mindset because we know that healthier people um, equal healthier communities. So why are we focusing on mental health? Uh, before the COVID-19 pandemic hit, mental health challenges were already the leading cause of disability and poor health outcomes for adolescents. There's a statistic of one in five children ages three to 17 in the US who have a mental, emotional, developmental, or behavioral disorder. And COVID-19 has only compounded these challenges. We know that COVID has caused a lot of trauma as well as um, there's been a lot of major disruptions in routines. This just caused a lot of anxiety and depression and other mental health concerns among our adolescents. Some different facts about mental health. Um, these statistics right here are the most commonly diagnosed mental disorders in children. These are taken from a statistic in 2016 to 2019, so that we know that these statistics are probably even increased since then. Um, depression on this list is currently at 4.4, which is the lowest, but to equate that to uh, numbers that is approximately 2.7 million children who are affected by this. Um, depression also occurs with other conditions. So those who struggle with depression often have anxiety or other behavioral problems. And who is currently being affected? Uh, we see um, through these statistics that there are more girls than boys who are affected. I wanted to take a moment um, for you to pause this video. I want you to read through the case study and I'd love for you to post your comments um, and resume the video whenever you are finished. Welcome back. I hope that that was helpful. Um, as we've been discussing today, there really is an increased need to help the depression trends from rising, but what can we do? Studies show that physical activities can reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety as effectively as medication and without the unwanted side effects. Even a little bit of lower intensity exercise can help and greater amounts of exercise can have a greater effect on our mental health. Exercise also um, can decrease symptoms of anxiety and depression, both overall as well as in the moment. But how does exercise help reduce symptoms? First of all, um, they re exercise helps to release feel-good endorphins. There are natural brain chemicals called endogenous cannabinoids and other brain chemicals that can enhance your sense of well-being. Exercise can also take your mind off of worries. Um, it helps to reduce negative thoughts that fuel depression and anxiety. There's also physiological and emotional benefits. Things like uh, um, increasing your confidence, just meeting goals and doing something good for your body helps to increase your confidence. Um, it gives opportunities for more social interaction. And um, exercise is also a great way to cope with uh, mental challenges in a really healthy way. It's doing something positive rather than dwelling on your circumstances, which can actually just make symptoms worse. But how do we begin? That's always the question, right? Uh, first, you want to start simple. Just if it's hard to find the motivation to even get going, 
just find opportunities to sit less and to move around more. Things like walking the dog, um, dancing in your room, taking a bike to school, um, all these little opportunities really make a difference. Every five to 10 minutes can make a difference. Also find what's fun, do the things that you enjoy. If you love soccer, um, play more of it. Uh, dance, if you like shooting hoops, weightlifting, just find those things that you really enjoy. Also reach out. If you um, involve your friends, it really makes a difference. Being active with others can really help to improve your mood and it can help get you out of a sad or an anxious frame of mind. Um, also think about what motivates you. Is there like a fitness challenge or do you like routines? Find something that will keep you motivated. And also being in the active outdoors um, or being active outdoors can really make a difference too. Something about the sunshine really can help boost the mood. Also, what types of exercise are important? Um, we have aerobic exercises and that really is great at increasing your heart rate and breathing and that will improve your stamina. These are things like um, biking, even playing active video games. Um, <clears throat> there's also more vigorous activity like soccer, basketball, running, hip hop, dancing, karate. There's also mu muscle strengthening exercises. And these are things that really help to challenge your muscles. Things like um, doing resistant bands, weightlifting, um, using machines, or even just using your own body weight. Things like push-ups, chair squats, um, planks, that really helps to um, increase and strengthen your muscles. Another important aspect is uh, building your bones. Activities like running, jumping, tennis, um, even fast movements that happen like in soccer or basketball or dance, that really helps to um, challenge your bones. And right now when you were young, that is the great, a great opportunity to build strong bones to help prevent uh, bone disease later in life. And of course, it's always important to remember safety first when you perform these activities, make sure you wear proper equipment to protect you. And some additional tips for success, um, reduce your screen time if you can. Uh, spend no more than two hours a day sitting in front of the TV or a computer. And when you're done with your homework, just take a break. Um, go do some activity, uh, just try and take an active break. Also remember to get eight to 10 hours of, of sleep that really helps um, boost your mood as well as avoid screen time before bed. So now I want you to take a moment to reflect and um, set some goals. So uh, review these reflection questions as well as the goal questions. And um, we'd love to see your goals. If you wanna post those in the comments and uh, you can take a few moments to pause the video. I would uh, like to now share personal experience of how exercise has improved the life of this particular high school student. Her name is Brianne. She said, being active has improved my mental health in a lot of ways. Being fit and healthy gives me more energy throughout the day to complete my daily tasks, which gives me confidence and motivation to do more good things and be productive. While it's made me feel better about my body and my appearance, more importantly, it's created a lot of joy in my life knowing that I'm disciplining myself to keep up with healthy habits that will last throughout my life. And I'm sure that many of you can relate to her experience. There's a Chinese proverb that's one of my favorites. It says, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This uh, journey to improving your mental health and improving your exercise and physical activity doesn't have to start in like one big, day. It really is just small and steady little improvements that really do make a difference. Um, it's that five or 10 minutes here or there. It's just making that conscious effort to get up and to be active rather than scrolling through um, social media feeds or watching an extra TV show or playing a video game. Um, we know that mental health challenges really are 
a real challenge right now and they are very widespread. But now you have the tools and knowledge to forge a new way. As you make the choice each day to stay active, you will not only improve your life, but you'll be able to create opportunities to be an inspiration to others. Um, so we would hope that you would take this opportunity to put on your shoes and go outside and live happy. We are grateful that you've taken this time to join us today and we hope that this has been helpful for you. We would love to hear your questions or comments. So please post those. And if you have any um, additional questions, you can always look at our website that will be on the next screen. But uh, again, thanks for joining us and have a great day.